Yo, yo, welcome to the video. So, it's been three weeks since I posted on, on YouTube. The most inconsistent, consistent trainer, person, vlogger, and what's holding me back or what's kept me away is a combination of laziness and real life. As long as the people that I care about are good, alive, and healthy, I can take care of everything else. And a couple weeks ago, one before, so the first week when I took a break and I didn't do anything was because I felt like I was doing too much, right? As a machine, a machine can keep going. I'm not a machine, I'm a human being. So I needed to hit a reset button and understand why I'm posting so much and what's the goal of it, right? Doing the same thing again and again, more frequently but getting no results or not getting what you want out of it is going to lead to a lot it's going to lead to frustration the process works but if it's following rules and if you change the rules based on your emotions what you feel like then you can't be consistent because you're relying on some type of motivation to drive you to go do something and that's another thing about me like these videos that i do it's trying to be motivational or inspirational and when i feel like i'm trying to be that it doesn't come across as real it doesn't come across as genuine it's like i'm putting on a front like this is motivational pal and uh, it's it gets draining especially when i feel like it falls on deaf ears so let's just recap i took a week off because i felt like i wasn't doing anything productive with these videos then i got bad news about my mom she had a stroke and as much as I'm happy with my progress, I'm happy with my physique, but when those that are close to me can't take care of themselves, it's annoying. When their health starts to suffer and I have to watch and I can't do anything about it, that's when it puts in perspective why I take my health and my fitness so serious. My mom just turned 60 in May and suffered a stroke a couple weeks ago. Luckily, it was at work, so they were able to treat her very, very fast. She's not, thank God, she's just not, not paralyzed, nothing, nothing major. Um, lost vision, couldn't walk. And she got it back, kind of. So she went to put her in the hospital. Um, then we went to a rehab spot and she recovered. Like, like, I, like I said, luckily like, she was at the spot at the hospital so that they were able to treat it very quickly because most people that have strokes either don't survive uh, or come back paralyzed. So, thank God. But now it's like, this is the second major health scare my mom has had. And if third time's a charm, I, I can't have a third time happen anytime soon. So now I have to be proactive. Uh, we already discussed as far as her health, what things she's going to eat, a lot of things she has to cut back on. But at 60, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see what I can do. But um, what's happened because of that also is like, I got the whole crib to myself, I got a new apartment, yo. <laughs> Which is what I wanted, but not in this manner. So, Life hits you hard. When life is going to teach you a lesson, it doesn't come with no soft taps, right? It comes like a haymaker. So your ability to adjust on the fly is gonna determine how successful you are, is gonna determine how far you can go and how much you can handle. The stronger you are today, the stronger that you become through tough challenges sets you up for the next one. And not only that, but those that are around you that know how tough you are, start to rely on you more and start to see you in a different way. And then you start to see yourself in a different way because people treat you differently. It's like, I'm not coming to somebody for advice that, I'm not coming to somebody for relationship advice that's been divorced multiple times, uh, can't sustain a relationship. I'm not coming to somebody for, for health advice that's out of shape knows a lot of theory but doesn't know how to practice it. learn from your lessons the first time so that you can avoid it happening a second time and then the second time that it happens it happens way worse when my mom was on the bed i heard her say something but she didn't think anything of it but 
I forgot how we were talking about her coming to America and like how she became a nurse and how she overcome a lot of struggles. And she was just like, that was the only thing I focused on. <laughs> it was just work, it was studying, going to nursing school, working. I think she had one or two jobs. She had me at the time, maybe my brother too. But she was like, her answer was so simple. It was like memory. My, like muscle memory, the way she said it, I focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. What are you focused on? What are you trying to accomplish? And what's distracting you? And how can you eliminate those distractions? We shall find out next week <laughs> on the next episode of whatever this series is. A lot on my mind. I think this was more personal than I wanted it to be. All right. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep working. Be somebody, if you could drop me a comment, consider subscribing. Um, any questions that you have as far as health and fitness or anything in particular, just say hi. I'll say hi back. All right. <laughs>